let's, let's launch into our second fun-filled, action-packed music appreciation class. Um, now, I made this PowerPoint presentation before I talked to you all on Tuesday, and what we discovered on Tuesday is that most of you have had some music. Some of you had a lot of music. So this class will probably be redundant, to say the least. So I'm going to rip through it as fast as I can for the sake of those who already know it. If at any point there is a subtlety that you would like me to go over, by all means, stop me, okay? And uh, those of you who can see the screen better than me, if, she, if you see somebody raise their hand, because I, it's a blur to me right now. I can't see anything. Should we close the door? Okay. Don't let her in. <laughs> um, so anyway, the, the fun, fundamentals is uh, all about counting and quarter notes and eighth notes, and I'm, I'm sure that you're, it's a total review. Uh, I, I need to do it anyway, just to be sure everybody is, has been presented with the material. Uh, but I'm not going to take, I'm not going to dwell on it as I would if I were in a class of people who don't have any clue. But if, it, like I say, if there's any problem, stop me and we will go through it. Uh, first off, we have to talk about sound. What's going on? Somebody's coming in. Okay. Back to work. Sound is the brain's interpretation of variations in air pressure. If I go like this, people in Valdez, can you feel this? No. Ambrose can feel it. <laughs> what we're doing is we're creating waves of air pressure. Thicker air and thinner air. If there was, could we settle, whoever is making all that noise, can we either turn the mic off or get settled because I can hear it and it's distracting. Thank you. Um, if there were smoke in the air, you would be able to see the waves, just like water. And these waves... Does the microphone track me? These waves go into your ear, and they hit this little membrane right there called the eardrum, these little tiny va uh, variations in air pressure. And they make these little bones called the, uh, the stirrup and the, uh, I forget what they all are. There's a little picture here. By the way, would any of you like me to, email you these PowerPoint presentations. I mean, they're cute and they're, they're compressed and they have little pictures and stuff. If you, by the way, if you don't know my email address, do, is it, on, my, is it in, on any of the stuff? It should be. I don't think I have your email addresses, but the college does. And anytime you want me to send you any of this stuff, it'll be my pleasure. Um, and you can uh, email me at any time. My my phone number. My phone number isn't on there either, huh? Uh, it's uh, eight two two five two five one. As I was saying, I'm not I'm not in this for the money. Huh, God knows. So don't feel like uh, you're ripping me off or distracting me or or, or hassling me if you want to call me and ask about something, usually something that will hassle you for a half an hour or so. I can answer in 20 seconds, and uh, it's perfectly fine. So please uh, take advantage of my willingness to speak to you uh, either through email or over the phone. And uh, so feel free. Everybody got that information written now. Okay, now uh, we're talking about the ear. Uh, these are nice little pictures. Anyway, the vibration goes into your inner ear, and uh, it wiggles these little bones inside. They, they turn into little electrical, chemical uh, signals, and that's what your brain interprets as sound. 
this here, I'm not even going to read it. it uh, it's, it's a little dictionary article about how your ear works. The middle ear is a small chamber inside the eardrum. The three bones called, there we go, three bones called the auditory ossicles extend across the chamber. Uh, the uh, three bones have Latin names, malleus, incus, and stapes. And they all work together to, to make these little twisting, turning little motions which uh, turn into electrical signals and your, what your brain interprets as sound. Uh, sound consists of vibrations that travel in waves through the air. Uh, sounds vary in frequency and intensity. Frequency is the number of vibrations per second. Um, if I go like this, you can't hear anything. But if I go the speed of a hummingbird, you can hear a little whistling, a little hum. And if, you, if I pluck a string that goes 440 times a second back and forth, uh, you can hear that. Dogs can hear uh, um, sounds up in the 30 and 40, uh, 50 hertz range. Our, uh, our hearing uh, tops out about 20 hertz, uh, 30 at the most. I've, I've, uh, I spent many years in Los Angeles playing in rock bands and going up and down the freeway with the trucks roaring in my ear. And I know my ears are damaged, but I've always done very well on hearing uh, tests because not because my ears are in perfect shape, but because I have trained my brain to be responsive and, and hear things that a lot of people can't hear. Um, so I like to tell the story about uh, there was a guy at a recycling center. I was walking past this recycling center, and he was standing on a pile of broken glass, and he was taking these glass jars and smashing them into smaller pieces of glass with a, a percussive sound that was so penetrating. I mean, I, I started putting my hand over my ears like a half a block away. So I'm walking up to this guy, and I look at him, and I say, man, you're going to ruin your ears if you, if you keep doing that. Uh, doesn't that hurt your ears? I mean, you're, re you're really going to ruin your ears doing that. And he says to me, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> um, <laughs> Now, you people that use uh, head earphones and stuff, um, you need to be careful of your ears because every time you feel a little bit of a, a tension in your ear, that's permanent damage. Now, it may be little bitty tiny bits of permanent damage, and you can get away with it for years and years and years. But if you listen to your rock music too loud, and especially this new thing of, the, of using headphones, it's so great because you don't have to listen to other people's stuff and you can have your own little private world and stuff. But if you have that stuff up too loud, your ears are you're going to be deaf by the time you're 30. Please keep that in mind, those of you who are a part of this new century. Okay, that's about sound.